say, oh, you know, walking is a series of controlled falls. It's just these moments of controlled chaos. I think mistakes are a necessary part of every design process, and it happens every time. You could almost say a lot of great designs is a series of controlled mistakes. Formalworks is a team of car designers that started a design firm and then we went rogue and decided to build the nicest automotive keys in the world. We could just make something that works that will break after five, 10 years, but I'd rather make something that has that aspirational quality to it that connects you to the car that you love. On top of that, it's visually stunning. And on top of that, it will last you the lifetime of the car. And so for me, that's hitting all the dots. Utility, emotion, sustainability, it's everything. We get some really fun projects, F40s, McLaren F1s. The stuff that we choose to work on, it's cars that we've always dreamed of. And it's like, that's the simplest filter that it could be. Our first two products were for the 911 and the Defender. Cars in their class that we felt were just the greatest design icons. So the research that we do, it deeply roots in, I guess, the way that we end up valuing the car. So the 911, it's, it's in its philosophy. And like, as I mentioned before, it's timelessness. It's it lasting a long time. And so we have to really study what's the DNA behind that car. Porsches have a very specific form language. They have a lot of shapes that seem to melt into each other in a really beautifully mathematic way. The interior also follows that. It's very watch-like, it's brutal and raw, but it's a cockpit and it's for the driver. And there's this pill shape for the IP that it's just fantastic. It's really pretty. It actually hasn't changed across all the generations along with the roof line. We took that literal shape and that's that kind of hump you see blending into the form of the key. The Defender is very utilitarian by nature. So a lot of the shapes on the car they have really clear reason for being at that angle, at that facet, at that shape. And so we were a little bit more literal. We studied every inch of the car. We looked at them in person. We talked to owners, we interviewed them. We studied the different variants and what people do in different cultures around the world. That's how we actually whittled down to some of the shapes. For instance, with the roof line and the Alpine windows, it's like not the most obvious parts of the car but it's something that Defender owners would pick up on and appreciate. Our GTR key is one of our more recent legends, key pieces. Our designer really felt like the car was representative of a katana. The reason being is that a katana is a very light but strong sword. And I think when you look at the GTR, it, it carries that sort of proportion and weight that balance with it, with lightness, along with looking strong, is something that he appreciated. And so there was this philosophical connection to a sword. We wanted to celebrate the graphics in a more prominent way. It's a very unique set of round lights in a very specific proportion. And the way that our designer tackled it was he actually measured everything exact and proportioned it down so that if you took this and scaled it up, it would literally be the taillight assembly of that car. Believe me, I've tried to move things around. Every time we would, it would look like a Ferrari or a Corvette, but the way it was laid out on this car, it is unmistakable. I was looking at my wedding ring the other day and it's like, why, why do these things cost so much? And, and guys will say all the time when they're proposing to their loved one, why do I have to pay so much for this rock? And it's, it's kind of an incredible cultural phenomenon because it's not so much that it's this ring of precious metal, 
It's what it represents. And it represents love. This is a symbol. It's not a ring. It's not a round piece of metal. It's not a diamond. It's a symbol. It's a symbol for what you value. And when we saw the key, it, it started to connect, right? Ah, oh, the key is kind of the same thing. It's, it's your love letter to the car, right? And it's like, if you're a car guy, there are so many things you appreciate about the car, so many love-hate relationships with the car, so many experiences, the times that I got you out of a bad spot, the times that put you in a bad spot. The thing is, it, it's, a, it's a maker of human experience and memories. We could create something that is meaningful, right? That is a piece of jewelry, not because it's a shiny object, but because it's a symbol for something you love.